This Fast Thought is sponsored by the Canadian Health Food Association. CHFA are growing a community that empowers growth and is shaping the future of the health food industry. They are inspired by the belief that when we all do well, Canadians live well. Yeah, we, we also know that, you know, the week before CHFA is like, yeah, it's, uh, it's what? A, yes, all of that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but thanks for jumping on with us. We, uh, this, and this won't be long anyway. Yeah, this it'll is, be yeah. like 15 minutes. And then, uh, what, what we thought we would do is just, um, get you to talk about the product a little. It usually helps just with the audiences. They get to see it on YouTube first and then, yeah, yeah. um, Hopefully it may make them go to Launchpad so they'll get to see it. Yeah. 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 And then yeah, and yeah. at least find you at the show because they'll be intrigued by hopefully. That's sweet. Yeah. That's awesome. The compelling yeah. story you're going to tell us it. right now. Absolutely. Oh. Okay, ready. <laughs> um, it's pretty dialed. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, thank you again. It's an awesome opportunity. Um, yeah. I'm the one of the co-founders of Seed to Surf. So we're a plant-based seafood company and we use uh, whole vegetables to recreate the seafood experience. So um, I kind of say like, I've been vegan forever, uh, like, I don't know, like eight years. I've been vegetarian for double that. So wow. it's a lifestyle I definitely resonate with. Um, but I know that not everybody, um, not everybody resonates with this lifestyle, but that there's things about it. I think like we've seen an opportunity in the vegan market for an opportunity to meet consumers where they're at, regardless of who they are. And I think that at the end of the day, we've seen such a big shift on like people that want to eat, you know, vegetables, people that just want to eat a clean ingredient deck and understand what they're really putting in their body. And, you know, the fewer words, the better, um, which kind of brought us to creating this, this product that obviously I'm passionate about from, um, a lot of different lenses, but I think that it also kind of resonates with, with not just the vegan community, but you know, a ton of different people as well. So, um, yeah, we don't like to think of ourselves as a compromise. Um, we kind of think of ourselves complementary, uh, and, uh, I think we lead with the vegetable. And so we're not trying to shy away from the fact that we are vegetable based. Um, I read this, somebody commented recently, it was pretty funny that said, you know, I can't remember where it was a little bit out of context, but essentially said finally a vegan option that's not just like, you know, rubber poured into a shrimp mold or something. And I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, and listen, any options, a good option for me because I'm vegan, but I understand that at the end of the day, right. that's not what people are yeah. always looking for. So uh, we have two products on the market right now and they're both conserva style. We have a plant-based um, white fish made out of celery root. So we take celery root, um, we smoke it, uh, we preserve it and we can it and our ingredient deck is super clean. So it's just um, celery ac, uh, the hardwood smoke, a little bit of sea salt, we use seaweed and a natural flavor that we developed in house, um, nothing artificial. Uh, fire ingredients and it makes this like amazing smoked fish uh, in a tin and you, know, you can we you know we say well smoked white fish but we don't pretend that we're not made out of celery root just uh, to give our audience and our consumers a use case right any way that you can enjoy our product you can enjoy a celery uh, or an actual white fish so we make like a killer white fish salad uh, we make a mm. killer white fish pasta. We're awesome on charcuterie boards, secuterie boards, or really good beside actual fish. Um, so we kind of imagine ourselves as a great alternative or a great complement. Uh, our second product is a enoki mushroom snow crab. So we uh, take enoki mushrooms. In a similar process, we uh, ferment them. We use our natural flavors and the same thing, kombu kelp and sea salt, and that's it. Um, we preserve it, we can it, and um, similar to how you would enjoy a snow crab, you can enjoy our um, our uh, mushroom crab. So, you know, we've made a really cool, uh, all the recipes are online, but we have a great recipe for crab dip, for crab cakes, and sushi and sushi rolls. Um, the list kind of goes on, and then you can imagine. Nice. Yeah, eating it on its own too, and and uh, those are the two mark uh, products we want to market with uh, pretty heavily. I say full force at the beginning of uh, this calendar year. Wow. Okay, so you've been in marketplace for <clears throat> nine months ish. Yeah, yeah, I'd say you know it was a super soft launch just before Christmas. Um, yeah. We really launched uh, at the beginning. I'd say February first was a big day for us because we launched with an online distributor called Fair, and Fair mm -hmm. um, has been fantastic. I think Fair showed us that you know us literally a year ago was like, hey, we'll be lucky to get into a small segment of the Canadian market and really quickly realized that 
there aren't as many barriers to entry as we might have thought at the beginning. Uh, and FAIR has really been fantastic for opening that up to us um, and putting our products in front of consumers and retailers and wholesalers and wine bars and bodegas and vegan shops across the US um, that we didn't know existed. Uh, and kind of matching us up. And so that's been huge in terms of our initial launch into the U.S., which uh, which was pretty full force, I'd say, Q1 of 2023. Wow, good for you. Wow. Good for you. Really great. <laughs> I love I the know, yeah. I didn't know you were launch launch, but you guys, so you've, yeah. you've gone gone. Like you're, and what, like in Canada, oh, oh, yeah. where, where are you? Um, so we're at 109, just updated 192 retailers across Canada nice. and the U.S. Uh, about 90% of our business is in the U.S. right now. So um, we're in seven provinces. We're in 35 states. We're in the BDIs. Uh, I thought that was cool. Uh, we're in Hawaii. <laughs> um, and we're looking for, yeah, I've been getting messages like <clears throat> two this week from Australia asking for shipping there. I'm like, well, there we can. But I guess we should look. Into Feels that. like you need to hand deliver. No, like I'll come down. Yeah, yeah. 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 For you. Bring a, I can improve the budget for that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so we've uh, it's been really exciting. Yeah, you know, I think um, some you know recent launches we've done. The um, there's a specialty grocery uh, in Los Angeles called Erwan. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but yeah. um, it's uh, kind of like Summerhill Market of Toronto, yeah. but elevated. Yeah. Um, and uh, we just launched on all of their shelves. So uh, that was really exciting. And then obviously um, participating in the Whole Foods Leap program, which has been an amazing experience. Um, we're the first Canadian company to launch, um, or to, I guess to participate in the Leap program. Uh, they had it last year and this year. So mm -hmm. um, we are honored to be the only Canadian company so far to make it through to the final rounds and um, having some really promising conversations right now about um, what uh, it's going to look like for us in the new year, not only launching in you know our local foods, but um, you know, pretty confident we'll be able to launch in a substantial part of the U.S. market as well. Good for you. Yeah. That's I awesome. The, I love the packaging. The packaging is oh, really, you. really pretty. It just thank make you. it pop. Yeah, it's beautiful. I haven't opened the samples yet. I got to go do that this afternoon. Yeah, I've got a few yeah. samples lined up, so I'm ready to go. And, um, in terms yeah. of retail, like what do you, what what is the product? Because I was looking at, it. does it? Uh, uh, similar retail, like to what a can of crab would be. Yeah, I think it's actually we're meeting with some like other retailers in the states too, and I think um, the uh, price elasticity for something that's like you know clean ingredient that's sustainably sourced that checks all of those boxes, which we do almost unintentionally. Um, it is uh, people are, are willing to pay for for clean ingredient deck and good product uh, and and something that kind of celebrates culinary excellence, which we found was an opportunity in the past that wasn't, you know, being utilized in the vegan market. Like yeah, you had this mm. like vegan tuna, and there you know like you can find vegan tuna on the market right now for about half the price of our tins. But I mean, respectfully, it's doesn't have the same taste and right. it uh, it doesn't have the same ingredient deck. It's a lot of long words. Um, and I think that ours is more exciting because it's more accessible and people understand right. what's going in it. Um, it's in terms of pricing. Um, we, we retail it you know, anywhere between $8.99 and $9.99 is our MSRP, but we've seen um, a, you know, some retailers are retailing us for upwards of $12.50. Um, and we've had conversations, you know, it's about in line, it's in the lower end of, you know, um, a quality tinned fish that you might see mm -hmm. from Fishwife or from Batches or, um, right. you know, our, you know, it's yeah. a competition, but competition with the asterisk because it's been funny to try and define who our competition is. And I think we either have a lot of competition or we don't have any at all right. uh, because we're an innovator in the space. We like, we're very unique in terms of how we produce our product and all that. So um, we think it's yeah, relatable, but it's, uh, it's been Good a journey. You. Yeah. Good for you. It's actually, and that's, I think your retails are are really, really reasonable. Actually, like for the quality that you're presenting and the packaging yeah, and everything else, you. like it's really comparable. Like it's not every now and then, right? Like you you get some plant based products and and you like we all know that it costs more. Like there there's some things that need to be done that haven't been done before, and then sometimes yeah. they drop the price and you go, oh my gosh, like who's gonna Who's gonna buy it? We we all wanna we wanna we yeah. wanna help and we wanna be part of the movement, but we can't go bankrupt being part of the movement. Yeah. But it's you know, exactly as a retail right. yeah. guy, like oh. it's right there. Like it's, the, it's an easy yeah. it's an easy buy, actually. Yeah, thanks. It's nice to hear validation. Yeah. I think too, even from um 
you know, like, listen, we, we see reviews and a lot of it is that, you know, it's, it's the nice thing is that most of the reviews are, it's really good, but it's a bit expensive. It's really good, but um, I'd say those are the, you know, handful of reviews that aren't unanimously positive and we've been fortunate enough to get a lot of great feedback. But to your point, like anything, we've kind of been trained as consumers, regardless of if it's a vegan product or it's not. Um, the cheaper, you know, people are, Gravitate, gravitate to cheaper retails, but I always say, like, don't always ask yourself why something is so expensive. Ask yourself why something is so cheap. Um, <clears throat> and yeah. kind of based off of that understanding, like, you know, the tinned fish, the vegan vegetable based tinned fish world is not a particularly margin rich <laughs> area of the business. And so we are looking to uh, expand. And I think we're just really excited about some of the innovation that we have for the pipeline um, in the next six to 12 months. Um, but for now, you know, these are the two products that we have. And you're right. I want to, we want to make sure that we're, you know, we offer a price that's accessible to our consumers, but we also, don't go bankrupt. <laughs> oh, you have to be profitable. Otherwise, there's no uh, point. Right? You, you gotta, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, cool. I love, I love, anyway, I love this. This is really exciting, I guess. We're, we're, uh, we're excited to see you at the show. Yes, I'm, and, uh, I, we're really, really excited. Yeah. Lots of prep, but lots of good stuff. Yeah. That's good, though. It'll be, it'll be a good show for you guys. It's good. Yeah. You're out there. People will see it. It's awesome. Where, yeah. where are we finding at the show, Phil? What booth do you know? Or do you know, uh, Alex? I still has it. Are in two four. Yeah, yeah. I have like eighteen thousand tabs of. Oh, here, here. You're in <laughs> two uh, two four 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 that's, eight. That's it. Two four 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 eight. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Two triple two, four, four, four eight. eight. Yeah. Oh, and they can come see you at Launchpad on the Friday afternoon. Friday yeah, I'm afternoon. really excited about that one. The pitch is happening. Pitch is on, baby. Like the pitch is on. Yeah. Love this. Or last. Love it. That's another really good thing or not good thing. But, uh, no, great. no, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good it's thing. All you, good. you have a great it's story, right? All, you have a great yeah. story, and like you've got a wonderful product. There's, yeah, Thank you, should, yeah you should be good to go. We're really excited for that go. opportunity. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, thanks for jumping on and doing that. Was it. it? That's all you had to do. Was yeah. just get everybody excited I, and yeah. think awesome. of you. Run down to see you guys at the show. Amazing. Yeah. Sorry again for my tardiness. Um, and thank oh, you guys so yeah. much uh, for the that's opportunity to share. It was really great to talk to you both. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Alex. Bye, Alex.